Megan Kelly, well, uh, she whines about the Black National Anthem and the Super Bowl. All right, let's put it up full mass. She's upset. So during the Super Bowl, she tweeted this. The so-called Black National Anthem does not belong at the Super Bowl. We already have a national anthem, and it includes everyone. Well, Megan, I did not know you were black. So we already have one. Can you sing it for us? Can you give me the lyrics? The Super Bowl is a private company, correct? I thought you believed in private corporate rights. I thought corporations were people, and they can make these decisions. No? Yes? Maybe? Perhaps? You don't want to debate me, madam. Put it up full mass. All right. Unfortunately, she works at Sirius XM along with myself. Days later, on her show, she will go on to say, quote, we were subjected to the so-called Black National Anthem. Lift <laughs> every voice and see before the actual na- national anthem. I'm sick of this. It's not necessary to me. Played in this context is divisive. There's one national anthem for all of us, every American. There's no point. Actually, a middle finger to the country. And those of us who love each other, irrespective of skin color, to try to divide us by race. When we get two anthems at the Super Bowl, um, ma'am, you subjected us to this. You know, and by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. But this person is just arguing that that maybe we should we should also have a black Santa. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, yeah. Jesus was a white man too, but. Um, that's divisive, Megan. We have one white Jesus. I'm sorry, we have no white Jesus actually, uh, and we have no Santa Claus except for in the mall during Christmas time. Uh, he's a fictional character popularized by Coca Cola. There's a history of a real Saint Nicholas. He's brown, by the way. Damn, Wasney, thoughts. I, I, I will <laughs> say this. Obviously, she's being ridiculous. Uh, oftentimes, these Republicans, social, um, social justice warriors, or excuse me, culture warriors, race warriors, uh, they're grasping at straws. The idea that you can li- uh, lift every voice and sing is controversial. In, during an NFL game, a 70% black league, during right. Black History Month here <laughs> exactly. in America, Come on, bro. the idea that this is going to be controversial or, you know, divisive, again, um, just because we're reminding people that black people were once excluded and hated and treated very poorly all over the place, it's ridiculous. But I, I'll sympathize with her point in this one way, Dr. Richie. I watch a lot of NBA basketball and at a lot of events like All-Star Weekend coming up, they're going to do the Canadian National Anthem. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to do this? Why do we need to go with the old Canada? It's not for me. It's not as good as Lift Every Voice. I'm sorry. We we don't need to start a petition. We need to start a petition. (laughs) We got to end this Canadian National Anthem thing. 